Hello everyone. Well, today we are going to study about creams. Well, all of you are aware that cream is the byproduct of milk. That means we get cream from milk. Now, in the market, you must have seen there are so many varieties and versions of creams that are available. Sometimes we also get confused which cream to buy and how to use them effectively as each cream has got different fat content so their usage and their handling procedure also differs now in this video i am going to cover different types of cream also i will provide you the information how to share, how to use them and also i will tell you how to store them and if you are watching this video carefully you will be able to effectively use different types of cream in kitchen also in the bakery so we will start with the chapter so before we start <clears throat> let me explain you what is cream well cream is the lighter portion of the milk which contains both fat and non fat content well fat content is higher than non fat content as cream is the lighter portion so it always floats onto the surface of the milk so whenever we boil the milk you must have noticed that cream comes onto the surface because it is lighter than the milk also you can separate milk by using manual method or mechanical method manual method you can simply whisk the milk and then cream will come on to the surface mechanical method is followed in factories now there are different types of creams like we have single cream we have half cream double cream whipped cream clotted cream sour cream there are so many varieties and version but the important thing to note is that each cream differs according to the fat content available in it if the fat is higher then you should never cook the cream otherwise it will split if the fat is lower then the cream will have differ different usage so that we will study in this chapter now there are two ways by which we can take out cream from the milk one is manual method which you can do at your home also and uh, which can be done through whisk also if you whisk the milk it will break down the fat content and the cream will start floating onto the surface but in factories they handle gallons of liter of milk so for them it is impossible to use manual method so they use mechanical method under which they rotate very heavy churners inside the milk which break down the fat contents and the cream starts floating onto the surface from where they remove it now as i said there are different types of cream so we'll start studying about them first is single cream well this cream contains 18% of fat this cream cannot be whipped because the fat is very less this cream can be used for sauces for making different gravies also it can be used for making puddings etc but after adding this cream you should not reheat the product otherwise there are chances that the cream may get split now next important cream is half cream it is a mixture of milk and cream and the fat content is around 10 to 12% this cream will also not not whip as there is less fat this cream you can use in coffee and beverages can also be used in soup and sauces but generally used in f&b for making coffee and different types of beverages now coming on to the next cream that is double cream well this cream contains around 45% of butter fat it is whipped but if you whip it too much it will turn into butter so you have to handle it carefully it can also be used to enrich sauces but if you put this cream along with any acid then there are chances then this cream may get split so you have to be careful when you are using this cream along with any acid actually you must try to avoid it with any acid now whipping cream <clears throat> well this cream contains around 38% butter fat it is perfect for whipping as the name itself indicates after the whipping you will notice that the volume will change and it will become more smooth and shiny if you want to make any frosting by using whipping cream then you must add less sugar because if you add more sugar then you may lose the texture of the whipped cream now whenever you are whipping the cream that time you have to be careful because if you wrongly handle the whipping cream then it may get split or it may get over whipped so when you are whipping it first time make sure you initially you start at low speed 
and then you can whisk it at high speed till you get hard peaks you touch the whipped cream with your finger you should get a cap on your finger if you are getting a cap means it is ready now if you are mixing or whipping it first time and your whipped cream get over whipped or over mixed then how you rectify it don't get panic just add little fresh whipped cream into the splitted whipped cream and then entire cream will get fresh it will get rectified now we have one more type of cream that is clotted cream well clotted cream contains around 55 percent of butter fat well it is already very thick so there is no need to whisk it means it can be used directly this cream can be used along with the scones you can serve it along with fresh fruit and you can use it as a pouring cream but it should never be used in cooking because it is it can separate on heating then we have sour cream well this sour cream also contains around 80 18 to 20 percent of fat well in this cream one bacteria is added which gives the sour texture to the cream this cream can be stored for longer period because the shelf life of the cream is enhanced and this cream can be used same like single cream now there are different uses of cream you can serve it along with hot or cold chocolate you can serve it as an accompaniment like for fruit salad you can use it for decorative purpose like for cakes and all even you can garnish you can enrich soup and sauce and you can use it as a main ingredient like when we make ice cream custard or mousse you can use it for garnishing purpose as you can see in the picture the tomato soup has been garnished with cream also you can make fanciful designs and shapes when you are icing your cake as you can see in the picture you can make many light desserts like muslin and also cream is also used for making irish coffee which is a cocktail consisting of hot coffee irish whiskey and sugar it is stirred and it is topped with cream the coffee is drunk through the cream so this cream plays a vital role in serving the traditional irish coffee beside this cream has got many usage which already i have covered in this chapter so next time uh, i will come up with another video so as i have explained you all types of cream so i hope that you will use them effectively in your bakery and kitchen we'll meet again thank you bye